Hi, my name is Anet Etu. In this video, I want to teach you how to replace multiple values just once in Power Query. Most times you have a data like the one on my screen and you have multiple values. How do you replace all of them in just one click? Because if you replace each item, let's say in this data we have 400 rows of data, you will have about 400 applied steps in Power Query and that will definitely drag your system and also take time but in this video i want to show you a very simple way to do this just once first we we'll take the data to power query we we'll make sure that we trim and capitalize each word then we we'll use unique function to bring out all the items and we we'll use a simple mquery code to control this now let's start open a new excel worksheet go to data i go to get data I say launch power query editor i right click here i come to new query come to file then come to Excel, we locate the data sets and we say import. We'll click on sheet one and import the data to Power Query. First, I want to confirm that I have the complete 411 rows. Yes, I have the 411 rows. So you can see that the data has lots of values. It has capital and small letters, ABI, ABI state, and I want to assume to have trim error so one of the first things we'll do we come here we'll say transform we'll say capitalize each word we we'll also come here go to transform again say trim then we come to close and load let's rename this sheet to data we sort this from a to z so that we can start from a and then work our way down so come to sheet one we we'll just use a function called unique Go to the table called data, add an exclamation mark, then we want from column P to column E to give us everything in that column. Good, we have all the states. Now we can simply copy this, paste here, select this button and say paste values only. So it will give us each unique value. Why we're doing this so that later we can compare to see the difference in the correction that we've made. Come back to our main data. You can right click here and say edit if you take it back to power query or you click the table come to query and then come to edit it will also take you back to power query this is how to replace the values one of the things we do we change this column header to just states to replace the values we check the column we want to replace this first one at the quota of going states right click here replace values at the quota comma again states we just replace it with again this is what most persons will do they will come to the next one which is abia states and abia dot for example they will use replace value and they will say abia states to replace it with abia match entire contents they click ok they come to the next one replace values and they will say abia states dot replace with abia when you do it this way you can see that you're increasing the number of applied steps so what if we do all this using only one applied step cancel this and i cancel this i need only this replace value you come to home click advanced editor our interest is in this last line which is table dot replace value you can press enter to bring this down one and we'll come to a biokuta. This is where we want to replace the values. And simply I come here and I paste all the states using multiple if statements to handle all of this. We'll start with each state. Come on. Each if in the state is equals. We have to bring in a Biokuta comma again states then again else if we call the states false. So this is where we start to take them one at a time. If Abia states, 
then abia else if state equals abia state dot then abia next one abia abuja adamawa is correct to save time i can do copy and paste this to have a it replace it with a then i have a polygon states replace it with fiber They will have a fire bomb. The next one is a fire bomb dash states. Replace it with a fire bomb. We have an umbra. Okay, so we just copy this and we say an umbra states. Replace it with. number then we have biosa states replace it with biosa let's just see what we have done i'll take off this The last one will always be else, just call the states and add comma after it. You can see no syntax error. You click done, check. You can see now we have Abia, Abuja, Adamawa, Aquibum, Anambra, Bayasa, Benue. We have all these using just one step. With the replace value selected, just come to advanced options again. Let's continue. We'll do this with the other states. Else is the last one. So we bring the else down and we come here, we paste. So let's continue with cross river. We just copy this and paste. Cross review. Rivers. Cross river. We replace this one with cross river. When you clean this data up to the last point, you will identify we have Nigeria, we have United Kingdom, we have blanks and other things. I want to show you how to handle it. Let's go back. Let's load the data. First is to confirm the extent of the error. If the error is just about 10% or less than 10% of the data, we can replace it with the mode or we can create a new data point and call it unknown. Or if it is also more than 10%, we can just call these new points unknown. We come to transform the count rows, the total number of rows is 411. That means the error should not be more than 40. If we come here, we will select all, check null. Where we have errors, check Nigeria and the email. And then we check United Kingdom. If we click OK, we have these error values. And you can see it's just 11. At this point, this error, we can handle it using two different methods. For option number one, to replace it with the mode which is the most frequent state. The good side of it is it keeps your data tidy. Secondly, it is useful if you believe the errors were likely meant to be the most common entry. Now, the bad side of it is it introduces bias because at this point, you're inflating the count of one state. It's also not ideal if you're analyzing by state. You can use this 
if the state variable isn't the main focus of your analysis and you're prioritizing predictive modeling or machine learning where blanks need imputation. The second option is you can replace with a new category called maybe others or unknown. Now the good side of it is that it preserves data integrity because you're not guessing. Two, it keeps mistaken entries visible for auditing. Then three, it's great for dashboarding. You can track errors separately. The bad side of it is it adds a non-Nigerian state to your state list because the 36 states, the FCT, will now have another state called maybe unknown or others. But this is useful if your analysis includes state-based breakdown and you want transparency about your data quality. My recommendation is to go with option two, which is to create a category called others or unknown. What I did to the client in this case was I created a new sheet and did what is called data validation so that those filling the form, they don't have the opportunity to pick or type anything. That way, they are restricted to only list of states provided by the system. Let's handle this last part of the error, then we continue. We come down here and we take off the filter, play filter, and we go back to our advanced option. So this is the first one, Nigeria. Okay, so we have the Nigeria, the email, the United Kingdom, and we click OK. So when we come to this point, we have all the values. We can just add one more step here and we say replace values. And we say replace null with unknown. And then we OK this. So that's how to handle this. Let's look at all the columns. When we come to the marital status, we have marriage, others, and single. Let's see the null and the others. You can just replace the null with others to clear the filter. You can use the mode or you can use others. So we we'll simply come here and we'll say replace values, replace the null with others and we okay it and we have married others and single good then when we come to the age range you can leave it this way now one of the key things when creating a range frequency distribution for your data the most important part is make sure it is distributed equally and when we come to the gender we have male and female is also correct come to the serial number what you do change the serial number to text at this point this data is clean. Close and load, and then we can carry out the analysis. For all those that took part in the challenge, thank you very much. Congratulations. I'll see you in the next one.